Hey, it's Gavin here from WalshFadaway.com. Now, I've got a challenge for you today, a serious challenge, okay? Now, the challenge is to see if you can go 24 hours without having any sugar, okay? Because I believe there are so many of us nowadays that can't go a day, just one day, without having a little bit of sugar. And I'm talking about the cakes, the biscuits, the chocolate, all that sort of stuff, okay? Now, we all know sugar is not great for us, right? Um, in fact, it's been linked to, what, um, dementia, Alzheimer's, cancer, so many, the list just goes on and on. So I want to see whether you can just dodge it for, for a day, just one day. Because I'm sure you'll feel better for it, um, hopefully anyway. You might have some sugar pangs along the way, so things that you could do that I recommend, have some fruit instead. You know, if you do have a bit of a sweet tooth, then instead of going for the chocolate bar, you know, those sorts of things, get some fruit. You know, you've got some, some nutrition in there, some, some actual value that's going to help your body. So other things you can do, something I do whenever I get a sugar pang and I've got a real sweet tooth, I go for like peanut butter uh, with some coconut oil, just like a couple of teaspoons, you know, peanut butter, one teaspoon, coconut oil in the other, bosh, done. I don't know why that works, but that seems to do the job for me. Other things you can do is uh, rather than, again, reaching for that chocolate bar is, you know, go for like a herbal tea, a mint tea, regular tea, coffee, without any sugar, if you can. All right, that's the plan. And then uh, move, get up and move, okay? Whenever you get a sugar pan, get up and move. Make yourself busy. Because often it's a case of like, a bit of downtime where you're feeling sorry for yourself. You, and uh, you're like, oh, I'll just, I'll just have a little chocolate bar. I'll, I'll pet me up a bit. And we want to try and avoid that, that sort of emotionally eating as well. And the problem with sugar is it's so, so addictive that once you have a little bit, you just want more. And once it's in your system, it's in your next day, you're looking for your next, your next hit, you know, it's kind of like, uh, you know, a drug addict or a, an alcoholic. So give it a go. Try and cut it out just for a day. See if you can do it. All right. See, see if you can go a little bit further than that if you can. You know, I personally, I've uh, gone three weeks without any sugar. I've you know, still had fruit, um, but trying to avoid uh, any refined sugars, the cakes, the biscuits, uh, you know, to, uh, to my wife's disappointment. And you know, when she's made a cake at home, and I say, no, I'm not having any, sorry. I'm, <laughs> And it's, I'm not doing it for any real reason, I'm just trying to try and help myself feel better. You know, after Christmas, I wanted to try and do a bit of a reset, um, just feel better of myself. And over the last few weeks, no sugar. I'm not expecting you to do that, by the way. You can do, you give it a try. Uh, but I feel so much better, more, more energy, not having those afternoon slumps. Um, you know, my diet's pretty good anyway. But uh, sugar is definitely one of the one of the problems for me. As I say, I've got a sweet tooth, so I thought, right, I'm going to give it a go. Not a New Year's resolution or anything like that. Just just to try it out and try and help me reset. But I've I've been leaning out as well. Skin's looking better, more energetic, and I'm not craving sugar now either. So something to, for you to think about. All right, let me know what you think. Let me know if you can do um, a 24-hour sugar fast if you like. So no no ch sugar for the 24 hours. And uh, yeah, pop a comment in the section below. And if you have any any questions, give me give me a shout. All right? Okay. Bye for now. Take care.